Today, we are looking to improve your hand-eye coordination in hockey. This is day one of a five-day series to help improve your hand-eye coordination in hockey. To understand what hand-eye coordination is, here's a definition taken from the online resource Cognifit. Hand-eye or eye-hand coordination is the ability to do activities that require the simultaneous use of our hands and eyes, like an activity that uses the information our eyes perceive to guide our hands to carry out a movement. An activity such as hockey requires a high level of hand-eye coordination. A high level of hand-eye coordination enables any player to tip any puck within reach to the back of the net and knock down shots or passes out of the air. And finally, it helps you just have overall better puck control. Now, for today's exercise, you're going to need a hockey stick and a tennis ball or any other kind of ball should do. Leave a comment below letting me know if you like to use a tennis ball when doing dry land training. Or if you don't, what do you like to use? Now let's start the exercises. The first thing that we want to do is we want to get the ball on the blade of the hockey stick. Pulling it back and bouncing it on there or you can throw it with your hand onto the blade of the stick. Next, you're gonna to wanna to start bouncing the ball on the forehand of the stick. You can do things like change the frequency of bounces by changing how high you're bouncing it up into the air. Where if you want it to be quick and fast, you bounce it just a little bit in the air. And then if you wanna really work on your hand-eye coordination from long distances, bounce it pretty far up in the air. Next. We want to go from the forehand to moving the ball to bouncing it on the backhand. So with the forehand, start bouncing it, and then while the ball is up in the air, switch to your backhand and begin bouncing off that side of the blade. Lastly, we're going to want to try and hold the ball steady. Holding the ball steady really enables that mind-muscle connection in keeping the stick steady. It is important to be able to do this as it helps improve your control of your hockey stick. Now, do this exercise a few times a few hours before any game or practice as a good hand-eye coordination warm-up. Stay tuned for day two of this series where we will be doing another tennis ball drill. Then, from days three through five, we will be using a puck. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Until next time.